A flood is the overflowing of a large body of water onto normally dry land, inundating it with water or completely submerging it underwater. It is one of the most common and most destructive natural hazards on Earth, often causing significant damage to properties and infrastructure and resulting in a dramatic loss of human life. Several factors may cause floods, including heavy rainfall, melting snow, storm surges, dam or levee failures, urbanization. River floods, caused by rivers overflowing their banks due to heavy rainfall or snow melts. Flash floods, caused by sudden intense rainfall or dam levee failures. Coastal floods, caused by rising sea levels or storm surges during hurricanes, tsunamis or high tides. Urban floods, due to inadequate drainage systems in cities after prolonged periods of intense rainfall. Flash floods can be hazardous because they occur suddenly, resulting in rapid water overflow into rivers and streams. They pose a significant risk to densely populated areas. Sweeping away people, vehicles, and even buildings, they can be deadlier than tornadoes and hurricanes. Floods and the landslides or mudslides they can unleash can cause fatalities and severe injuries on a mass scale. Waterways contaminated by flood water harm ecosystems and pose the threat of waterborne diseases to people stranded in flooded areas. Especially in the mountainous terrains, uh, flash floods or heavy rainfalls may also lead to landslides there. Landslide is also a much bigger hazard. Floods cost the global economy more than $82 billion in 2021, accounting for nearly a third of all financial losses due to natural catastrophes. Floods damage homes, vehicles, and businesses. They also ruin infrastructure like roads and bridges, leading to utility outages and disrupted transportation links. Urbanization expands the surface area of impermeable land, meaning less land is able to absorb rainfall thereby increasing the size and frequency of floods. Roads and buildings constructed in flood-prone areas increase the risk of flood hazards, including inundation and erosion. The another problem is your terrain or how you have managed your land. We are converting uh, like congested cities, the places where water channels existed some time before. So we have interrupted the water flow mechanisms. Our uh, bad planning and plus climate change, it is creating a deadly cocktail, which the humanity is suffering uh, everywhere. Deforestation can also have a detrimental impact on the soil's ability to hold water, leading to continuous floods. It's really bringing together a lot of different data sources and people into a centralized forecasting system in combination with how we expect water levels to rise to understand where there's a flooding risk. And when there is a perceived flooding risk based on the forecast, then it needs to be communicated. And that communication has to be timely. It has to be accurate. The system monitors rainfall and river flow rates to make forecasts and allow authorities to take necessary precautions to reduce the potential consequences. In uh, most of the cases, uh, this uh, flood warning system plays uh, a crucial role in minimizing the um, impact of flooding, uh, providing in advance notice about the uh, upcoming event, uh, enabling a timely evacuation, uh, allowing uh, emerging services uh, to prepare for uh, and respond to flood events effici efficiently. The climate crisis is causing altered rainfall patterns, leading to changes in the intensity and duration of precipitation. There is a relationship between the temperature rise and the moisture holding capacity of the atmosphere. So it is very clear that in a warming world, the atmosphere will be able to hold more water uh, and then there will be more um, rainfall and precipitation. While completely averting the occurrence of floods is impossible, we can implement some measures to mitigate their impact and reduce their risks. We know a lot about flooding and we know where they occur and we can characterize very clearly the dynamics of the process. Um, and according to this, I think that we have all the tools to prevent flooding, both with the structural interventions 
but also with the proper planning and design of the city.